Okay, so welcome everybody. Welcome to Hot Song Podcast. Uh, today is the 17th of October 2024. This is, this is tonight, it's actually full moon and it's a lunar eclipse as well. So, yeah, stuff happens. <laughs> <clears throat> so, um, we talked about dimensions and using different dimensions energies to do healing last week and this week I actually want to um, do an experiment something that I haven't done before um, and let's just play with it I um, remember a while ago I talked about the real eye and I talked about real eye and also how to do karma releasing that kind of stuff and so I was thinking to um merge the two together is to activate the real eye but in different dimensions so when we do the when we activate the orb and do the world pool and do um, the clearing we can use different dimensions energies to do that so um, maybe nothing will happen maybe something will happen so we shall um, try that and have some fun with it so that's my intention tonight. Um, not really anything new. It's just combining two things that we've already talked about in previous weeks. So I just want to briefly mention, um, like uh, just briefly mention the different um, dimensions and what they are best used for. And so just a very brief, um, just a very brief recap. So, I think we are in a fourth dimension now. Um, we, like, maybe five, like a few years ago, we, we were still in the 3D. But then the three, three, third dimension has been um, very systematically dismantled for the... Well, it's been going on for a long time, but really very diligently and a lot of, of um, progress has been made in the last couple of years. That's why things are looking so chaotic, because we are actually dismantling stuff. So when we, when we bring stuff down, when we take stuff down, it looks messy. However, it, it actually... Behind it is like once we take the old things out, then we can start to build. And so we're kind of in the fourth dimension now. So third dimension is really very physical. is is all about body base and is ego base. is all about duality. Um, and then four D is more emotional and mental awareness is really the beginning of collective consciousness and then in the fifth dimension is you there is unity consciousness and then there is um, unconditional love is available and non-duality um, and all the things that comes with it like um, being able to read other people's thoughts telepathy and those things will start to come in because when we realize that we're just we're just one big family that 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 unity consciousness then being able to to read other people's thoughts is just as easy as being able to know our own thoughts so we're not quite there yet um however it's getting easier to to um hear what other people are, are thinking hear their thoughts even without being um, in proximity with them. So even if they are far away, it's, it's fairly easy to tune in on their thoughts and know what it is there um, that is going on. A lot of the times, even when we were in the third dimension, um, we can do that with close family. Um, like close family, we or, or people that you're really close to, you know how you know their thoughts, even when you are apart it's fairly easy to just tune in to see, you know, how they are feeling. Um, as, like, I used to do that with my kids, you know, even sometimes when they're not with me, I would be able to just tune in and see if they're okay or not. So 
So that is something that even in third dimension you can do. It's just that in fifth dimension, it's so much easier. It's almost like you know, you, you don't even have to have to be special or anything like that. You you just have to hold the intention. It's it's already done. So that's that's the fifth dimension. And the sixth dimension is really about cosmic awareness. You you um you're able to think outside the box of who you are and be able to be aware of cos more and more cosmic. And it's also the dimension where you start to let go of um, your personality. You start to let go and let go and let go. And that is the sixth dimension is really a preparation for the seventh dimension. Seventh dimension is when we um, are able to integrate all of our experiences. So let's say I, <clears throat> I have, uh, I let's say I have a thousand lifetimes, and I've, um, like all in different locations doing different things. In the seventh dimension, that's when I get access to all of those experiences, and I would be able to integrate them into, um, a whole. So that they are no no longer you know a thousand different lifetimes, I would be able to just hold them all together as one, and so that is um, really about mastery, like knowing absolutely who you are and why you are how you are. So that's the seventh dimension, and the eighth dimension is when you. You don't just know your own history, your own um, history, like all of your, your soul's journey. You are able to integrate um, other people's experiences as well. That's eighth dimension is when you start to really become bigger. You're not just you. You're not just your soul anymore. You are able to integrate all other people's experiences as yours. So it's really a, um, a very profound level of oneness. And that the eighth dimension is really in preparation for the ninth dimension. And the ninth dimension is when you, uh, after you have integrated all of those information, you start to become the creator. You start to go back to knowing um, that that knowing that only the creator can have because when you have integrated and incorporated all of these lifetimes of their experiences um, then you can really start to understand why um, like why the creator can create how creation is. You understand all of those cosmic mysteries and also personal mysteries as well. So that's the ninth dimension. Okay. And so, and I just want to, to kind of briefly talk about, just to review what the real eye is. So the real eye is really the soul's eye. Um, we have a third eye, which is around here, just between your eyebrows. Um, and then the real eye is really um, kind of in between your physical eyes and your third eye. And that's where your, your real eye is. Your real eye gets information from your zero point. So zero point is really, oops, somebody is trying to get in. Uh, let me see. Hang on. Oops, no. Um, Adina and Manas. What? I told you. I, I asked Adina and Manas to go through your new email. <laughs> okay. They, thank they you. Text me. Okay. Okay, thank you, thank you. And um, so the real eye is really the soul's eye. And when your zero point, zero point is really a, 
a physical point in your body that is connected to your soul. So it's physical and so it's where the physical and the non-physical part of you kind of come come together. And that's the zero point. And that's where um that's where you kind of um comes from because this body is just a port, just a, a vessel for the non-physical part of you to come through, use this body to experience this reality. And the zero point is where all of your non-physical being um, is connected and comes through. So it's that's really your soul. So when you activate this zero point and, um, and zero point energy goes up to the real eye, you see something you kind of see something that um, you see it from your soul's point of view, not from your um, personality's point of view. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Your personality is really, you know, Winnie is my personality. So Winnie has a certain personality. And then there is, um, and then there is another part of me, which is, non-physical and that is the the soul coming in so that is the that really is the 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 true the real me whereas the personality is the is is something that i created um when i come to this this reality like winnie is somebody that i created um and I created it by you know, choosing my parents and choosing the experiences that I had um, during the lifetime so far. And that it shaped how my uh, shape, how I try to um, do things. And however, me, the real me is way more than that, way, way more than that. It's the, the real me is some is the person that actually come from a different realm altogether not from not from earth not from not from this dimension it comes from a different realm that comes here just to experience to play so that you know, that's that's how i differentiate between the soul and the personality so the real i is where you can um connect with your soul and use your soul and your soul is powerful. Your soul, you, you actually have a lot of control over what it is that you um, experience and how you um, view and, and process your experience. So that's why uh, I, I think for a couple of weeks, um, maybe about a month ago, I, I keep doing more of the um you know just releasing karma and releasing releasing energy that uh, no longer serves you so now i'm going back to that only this time we're going to merge the two is to is to um, activate the real eye in fifth dimension and then in sixth seventh and ninth dimension so those are the four meditation that I want to uh, do with you all tonight. And it's, it's really to, to see when we have access to higher energies, does that make a difference in helping us to release karma, release um, whatever it is that is no longer serving us? So questions, concerns so far, before we uh, go into meditation? Nothing? Okay. Let's get going then. Hang on. I am going to... I'm just going to stop.